reason I find people are so unproductive is because they are so unaligned with the shit that they're doing. And I know that sounds really oh. woo-woo, right? But like you, if you Straight pick on. up your to-do list and you're like, wow, this looks like so much fun today. Okay. And if you're not excited about it, you're not going to get it done, right? Mm. And generally speaking is because the shit you have on here, clearly yeah. this is a very blank to-do list, the shit you have on your to-do list, if you're not excited about it, is because it's not actually aligning with anything that you want to do in the future. Mm. So when you, and this comes across in many different areas of your business, right? When you struggle to be like, where's my next step? Or I feel like I'm plateauing or feel like I'm not moving forward or why isn't this working? And it's because generally what you're doing is no longer working towards your big vision or your big goals. And that could be because you've lost sight of those happens Mm. all the time. Or it could be because those visions and goals no longer align with where you are in your business. So you're now doing shit that no longer makes you feel good which means mm. you're not going to do it, which means you're not productive. Okay, so this is so good because I just text my partner. I was like, I'm just feeling a little flat today. And mm-hmm. I think you just uncovered what my fucking problem is. <laughs> yep. I, that is so interesting because you're so right. Like sometimes I feel like we, you know, we think all of the things that we write down in, on, on this to-do list are the things that are going to help move us closer to our goals. But I guarantee you, no one's sitting down in the morning and actually assessing, okay, this is what I want to achieve in life. This yes. is the vision. How do I get there? Do these annoying little tasks that I'm doing actually mm-hmm. move the goalpost? Yeah. And, and it even know. comes down to like the client work that you're doing. Yeah. So I know I went through this transition phase where I really enjoyed doing certain things. And then I was moving into like the, like the online business management space and then like the productivity mentoring space. And I was like, now there's things on that to-do list that I do for clients that just don't light me up anymore. Yeah. Because it's not where I see my business going anymore. So it's like, it's okay to not want to keep doing that stuff. Mm. And that's why, like, that is honestly why you're not productive. It's not because you don't, want to do it you just don't understand how it's actually benefiting you yeah because that's what our brains are wired to do it's like if I do this thing how like it's a what's in it for me if Mm. I do this what's in it for me if I can't see what's in it for me why the fuck am I doing it and do you think sometimes there's a bridge between okay my vision has moved but I still have to do all of this client work or I still have to do all of this or I still have to do all of that because I haven't quite got to there yet yes. and that stuff has to fund the new dream. Yeah, and I definitely feel like I can speak to this because this is where I was at not so long ago mm. and I would love to say there's a magical fairy godmother out there that's like, oh, you don't want to do that anymore and you want to move on to this thing and you want to be like fully booked out and everything's going to be fine. Bam, bitch, there you go. But obviously <laughs> that's not how it works, uh, right? Could you send her my way, please? <laughs> right. Thank if you. I ever find her people, yes, I will please. let you all know. <laughs> <laughs> and like, because that just doesn't happen, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, how do you transition from one to the other without like it being a massive dip in revenue without freaking out, yeah. without being like, oh my God, how am I going to make this work? And unfortunately, this is where you have to go from walking in your business to running in your business. Mm. So I use the analogy of when we were babies, we had to learn how to walk before we could run. Yes. Which is exactly what we do in business. We learn how to walk. And once we're good at doing the things that we're good at walking, we start running. But then eventually we get kind of burnt out and we're not really sure if that's what we want to do anymore. So we go back to walking. Yeah, totally fine. But in order for you to get to the next step, you've got to do a little bit of running. You've got to start realizing that you have to put in a little bit more hard work. You have to put in a little bit more hours. And it's like, how can you slowly start re-educating your clients? How can you start changing your messaging? How can you start transitioning some of your clients from the old stuff that you want to do to the new stuff that you want to do? So it's, there's no magical wand. There's no, in six months, it'll all be fine and everything will work out. You just have to give it a go. Um, But you do have to realize that it's just that time. You know, you're Mm -hmm. running and and where you're running to is your own race. Like nobody else is running the same marathon. Nobody else is doing the same power walk as you. So you can take as long or as little as you want to get there. There's no time frame on it, but it's just in order for you to go back to being productive, you have to start pushing yourself towards things that actually make you feel good. 